hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today we'll edit this type of photographs and thanks for this photo to johnny brother just because of uh, he gave this image to me for editing and making this video and today we'll edit this type of uh, non-edited image and how to make this one color correction and uh, how to make this one more creative and lucrative and the shiny whatever it is everything i'll show you in this tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first i'll make copy by pressing ctrl or command j and after that i'll right press and make it convert to smart object just because of i will apply the effects from the camera filter if i don't make this one into a smart object it will be like that uh, suppose i need to change something setting uh, in future uh, i couldn't do that if i don't make this one smart object and now i'll go to the filter and camera filter that's why i don't want to do the same mistake in this video or in this photo editing that's why i made this one uh, to smart object you know uh, the smart object is that kind of thing you can edit any kind of things in future or you have that assumption to change the setup so you know the new look of the camera filter that is the 12.3 if you want to get the download link please check out my video description in the basic panel you can edit all the steps if you make it zoom you will get some spot in a face here is a dedicated spot healing brush tool and you can make it more zoom and you can just click once it will take the non-affected area and it will fill up from the face or you can do a little bit the changes or like a spot healing in this portion it will make your photographs more shiny and lucrative this one is not uh, too much uh, the high-end retouch this one is the moderated retouch thing so after that i'll go to the uh, like uh, here the basic portion from here if you need you can add some temperature a little bit and uh, tint a little bit after that highlight i'll make it down and the blacks i'll make it like that okay that's fine minus 25 is good for that the dehaze i'll make the dehaze like this and the texture i'll make it up and the clarity i'll make it down now i'll go to the vibrance that is minus 7 that is the mid tone and saturation i'll make it up now our basic portion is done if you need you can change something uh, i'll add some shadow over there and the whites i'll make the whites like that so let's see the before and after the color is coming step by steps now i'll go to the curves from here here are three or four curves that is uh, rgb curves and then red curves green curves and blue curves so in blue curves if you take the uh, pointer in a downside it will take the yellowish suppose like that so i'll make it a little bit yellowish and a little bit like that so that's good and the green portion if you take the pointer in a downside it will be magenta and upper side is green so i'll take this one a little bit this type that's good and the red you can change the color according to your preferences i'm making this one into my preferences you can follow my steps it will help you out to choose the perfect way so from here i'll change it like that so tone curve is done now i'll go to the split toning you know the highlight color and the shadow color what will be the highlight color you can pick up from here here is the hue and that for the hue you are getting all the color over there and you can change all the colors so i'm taking this color and the shadow portion what color will be in a shadow you can just do like that okay split toning is done we'll take care of it in later just because of we'll go to the calibration options from here three primary colors you are getting red green and blue the blue primary color i'll make the color like that the green like this and the red hue i'll make like this that's good now i'll just adjust the split toning portions from here the shadow and the 
u that means the highlight portion that's fine okay now the color mixture here the face color is uh, orange yellow and the red so luminance i'll increase the luminance for the face it will help me out to make this one the saturation the green and aqua and the hue green if you can make this one like that so hue will be like this and the saturation and the luminance that's good the before one the faded image and after one the color comes up okay now i'll save these settings for you guys and i'll provide you that settings for you you can use that settings that means the example file in your camera raw filter and the lightroom so saving this one giving the name and outdoor whatever it is i can give any kind of names over there and hit the ok button after making these uh, the before one and after one and now i'll add some lights extra light which is the fake type lights taking another blank layer and going to the brush select the first one brush and choose the color from here it could be the yellowish color so click once press ctrl or command t making it bigger and hit the tick button from here and making it screen and make the opposite down that's good and now i'll select these two things and uh, before that you have to make this one another filter or apply another filter go to the filter and go to the color effects profile you know color effects profile is another plugins of the photoshop uh, if you want to get the download link please check out my very description so from here i'll hit the okay and from here cross processing is my choice lots of method over here which one is perfect for your photographs i don't know and uh, i should pick up the perfect one which is really good for these type of photographs i think uh, this one lb04 that's good for me and hit the ok button it will taking time to load it up and providing you the final output and again i'll give that so you're getting the final result before and after and now i'll go to the adjustment and going to the levels options from here i'll adjust the levels actually like that so after that i'll go to the color lookup portion and you can choose any kind of color foggy night i'll choose from here and making it feel like only five percent so i'll apply or i'll just add in this portion so let's see the before the non-edited image and after the edited image you are getting the huge change and all the stuff and you are getting the preset for your lightroom and the photoshop as well so hope that you will enjoy and this video will helpful to you uh, if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video i am signing out today stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers as well bye bye